Hello everybody, my name is Rolak, and welcome back to Pokemon Silver Silver. In the last episode, we defeated Bronca Pewter Gym, made our way through Viridian Forest, and all the way back to Pallet Town, where we started out in our last Pokemon journey. We had a visit to Red's house, and nobody was home except for his mother. Red hasn't been apparently back in quite a while. Let's check in on Blue's house. Hi, my kid brother is the gym leader in Viridian City. But he goes out of town so often, it causes problems for the trainers. Let's see what is going on in Blue's house. Power's turned off. We... Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Nothing of interest as usual. So yeah, both of them have probably been out for quite a while. So it's to be expected that they're not going to be back in their own homes for a while. And, last but not least, the Pokemon Professor Lab. Ah, Ethan. It's good of you to come all this way to Kanto. What did you think of the trainers out there? Pretty tough, huh? Ah, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine that's hard, but the experience will surely help you. Come see me when you get them all. I have a gift for you. Keep it up, Ethan. So we're gonna come, uh, let's see the Johto decks. Yeah, alright. Well, I'm not aiming to complete the Pokedex. I don't even remember. If, what do you get? Aside from, like, a certificate, I don't think you get anything, like, interesting in the, uh, completion of the Pokedex. Can you heal up my Pokemon, please? <laughs> please? Please? Okay, well, that's going to be an issue. Um, I want to go on that water route, but I don't want to have one of my Pokemon down and the other two really weak. So I'm going to go heal up real quick. Alright, everybody's healed up and ready to go, so let's get going. Now, unfortunately, since it is a water route, there, of course, because why wouldn't there be... A crap ton of trainers on this route, oh, for God's sakes. Again, not a huge fan of the encounter rate in this game, since it's kind of fucking ridiculous. Alright, so yeah, there's a lot of fucking trainers on this route, again. It's really not that, it's not that long of a route, but there's just a lot of trainers, so... Like before, we're not done with these just yet, and we're gonna be doing a little montage, so... Let it, let us begin! <laughs> Right, and that is every single trainer on this route. That did not take as long as expected, although I do believe I missed, and I, no, I think I got all the items. There it is, just over there. And we've made it to Cinnabar Island, which is a bit different. The ravaged town of the past. Who are you? My name's Blue. I was once the Kanto champion, although it was short-lived thanks to Red. Anyway, take a good look around you. 
Volcano erupts, and just like that, the whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature is so much as twitches, we can be overwhelmed in a second. That's the way it is, but anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me, for real, show me how many Kanto badges you've got. Six. You're not ready to battle me. So maybe we just need one more badge to get him to fight us. So yeah, Cinnabar Island, unfortunately. Cinnabar Gym has reloaded the Seafoam Islands. Blaine. So unfortunately, the volcano erupted. Which apparently there was a volcano here. I didn't really know that. A volcano erupted and Cinnabar Island was pretty much completely wiped out. I mean, assume everybody. I used to be here until it's swept away by an eruption. All that's left here is just a Pokemon Center to heal up some passerbys. But aside from that, it's just kind of sad, honestly. A year since the volcano erupted. So fortunate everybody back in the time. There we go. Sorry for Blaine. He lost his gym. So yeah, the gym was lost, but it's been relocated to Seafoam Islands. Does that mean... Wait, how do we catch... Is it just the one island that's... Like that? I assume, maybe. Hopefully, maybe. Um, there are a lot of trainers in Route 20. I hope there aren't. There probably are, but... Eh, what do we know? Alright. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of them, because why not? Alright, so yeah, Cinnabar Island doesn't really have a whole lot for us, aside from blue. Thankfully, we can fly back here, which is quite painful. Alright, so, moving onward. On to Route 20. Why is my repel off? That's kind of annoying. All right, so again, a lot of trainers, a lot of weird Pokemon here and there. Um, so again, let's go on to another montage because I can't really think of anything else to do. <laughs> Right, and I do believe that is everybody for the time being. Um, see if I'm island, somebody put a nose on the sign. Cinnabar Jim has moved here. Leader Blaine, is it just in here? Um, okay. I think it's up here is the gym. Well, the music's changing. So, yes. Okay, we're going to come back here in a bit. So, yeah, the Seamphobe Islands. Um, I don't believe that's all that's changed. Oh, God, there's strength puzzles here. I don't think anybody has strength. Can we not progress with that? Okay, we can't. Okay, cool. That's kind of annoying. That's kind of really annoying. Wow, okay. Well, I guess we're going to be coming back here eventually. I mean, we kind of have to, because... We... Wait, no, hang on a moment. Hang on just a moment. Considering that we can enter from that side... Ooh, I'm smart. Considering we can enter in from the other side, I'm going to go fly over to Fuchsia City and start surfing from here. So we can just go... Let's see. We just go down here. Down onto this room.
All right, never mind. <laughs> all right, since the game doesn't want to me to have fun, um, I just went all the way back to Cinnabar, grabbed our Geodude buddy, and now we can access the Zifo Mimes a bit better. All right, so it's been a while since I've been here, and I don't think I am going to be able to remember what to do here. So hopefully it's like that. Uh, okay, I might have just fucked this over, but I don't really care all that much. God, this place is big. Oh my god, there's strength pulls everywhere. I'm gonna need a map. Holy shit, this place is huge. What in the actual hell? Oh my god, there's four whole levels to it. Oh my god. Oh, and there's still so many trainers here. Okay, you know what? I think we're probably just gonna go fight the gym for this episode and explore this area later. <laughs> Because I kind of don't want to go through all this right now. God fucking damn it. So yeah, we'll go fight the gym. We'll have a merry old time there because it's it's Blaine. He's cool, I think. I don't know, he was cool last time I remembered. Alright. Probably going to need the gym for this. Um, Do we have the... There we go. Wow, there's not a lot of trainers here. Huh. Nope, these are, these are not the... No, here. This. There we go. Okay. That stole a lot of trainers. Holy crap. Thankfully, they only have one, one Pokemon. Um, how does this gym work? Help me. I'm just making this gym as many trainers and rocks in the way of form of rebuilding. Sure, it will be easy to get to Blaine. Keep it cool and defeat the trainers one by one. You'll surely find the path. Um, okay. <laughs> Forget the laundry. So, how does this work? Do we just fight everybody and they move aside, or... <clears throat> oh, yeah. Fire types. Water, ground, rock. I think that's about it. Fire type is pretty easy to counteract as well as rock types. A lot of types are very easy to fight against. The only type that's not hard and easy to fight is fucking dragon types. We're not going to be fighting those anytime soon. So yeah, fire types really not all that interesting. I mean, we're going to probably skip through that. There we go. Alright, so if this gym is just continuously fighting a bunch of different... Continuously fighting a bunch of trainers and they just move aside... Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> it's sort of a maze in the fact that you have to choose which way to go, and you might fight some stronger Pokemon or some weaker Pokemon. I'm going to cut out all these fights because I don't really think it's really all that worth to just keep them all in, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, and there we have it. All right, that is all that is done, and I think we're all just good to go into the gym because he doesn't have that many Pokemon. All right, let's go. Hey, you. The gym on Cinnabar Island was burned down by the eruption. I will not give up. Take a look at this cave. We've turned it into a gym, and I'm still acting as a gym leader. I'll give you the gym badge if you manage to defeat me. Are you ready? Here we go. I don't know what Blaine's voice is, so whatever. All right, Blaine, the fire type master of Kanto. Only having, surprisingly, three Pokemon. Shiny bald head there. He's going to be sending out his Macargo, level 54. Oh, my God. <clears throat> He's got the moves Overheat, Sunny Day, Smog, and Rock Slide. For some reason, they're all holding a white herb. I don't... No, why? Why do they all have the white herb? What's so special about the white herb? Oh, because they all have overheat. Overheat's the special move. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's overheat's the TM for this gym. Overheat is a very powerful fire type move. However, it um, sharply lowers the um, special attack of the Pokemon once they use it. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Um, he's going to be sending out his Magmar next, level 54 as well. He's got the moves Flame Body, or not, the ability Flame Body, so try to be careful with physical moves. I'm going to be using one anyway. He's got the moves oh, Thunder Punch. This was a mistake. Ah, I wasted your White Herb. That's not great. <laughs> He's got the moves Thunder Punch, Confuse Ray, Overheat, and Sunny Day. This might actually prove to be a bit of a challenge. Please do not. Oh, my God. <clears throat> this should take it out. We got the same type of attack bonus. It's two times weakness. Colcracken's attack stat is like through the roof. There we go. The only downside is that I might be able to get might get a burn from this. And I don't. Okay. All right. Rapidash is actually kind of a terrifying Pokemon at the moment because it's level 59. Also holding a white herb. It's got flash fire, so avoid using fire type moves. It's a really weird move set. Um. Okay. I'll show you the spirit of this cave gym. It's got the moves Quick Attack, Bounce, Overheat, and Flare Blitz. We should be able to take it out. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, can we actually use a battle item? Oh, I actually, no, we'll just hit it with a Surf. I don't even know why I'm bothering. 
bounce, because why not? I guess that's going to be dealing not a lot of damage. <laughs> Rapidash is not a good Pokemon. I think Galarian Rapidash is a far superior Pokemon, but this is just not a great Pokemon anyway. How are you alive with 1 HP? You're not even holding a Citrus Berry for me to be annoyed with. We could still do it. Well, I guess we're going to be hitting it for Shadow Ball. <clears throat> Drop my USB! The bias. There we go. So yeah, this gym is kind of... <laughs> oh, there we go. Use the white herb. Yeah, you can totally just counteract the whole overheat thing just by using like a status lowering move. Or you can just hit them with intimidate and it'll also activate it. So it's kind of a kind of useless to be using uh, white herbs. I get the strategy so you can just spam overheat like twice in a row. But again, it's just kind of useless. <laughs> Especially when all... God, six paralyzed. Especially when your signature Pokemon has both Quick Attack and Bounce, which are not great moves. You're also a Rapidash, so it's really not that great. And case in point. All right. <laughs> Heal up there. All right. And we are done. <clears throat> My spirit has not been defeated. That's a lot of money. Awesome. I burned out. Take this volcano badge. Back to earning two badges in a row for each episode. Yeah, I'll give you two. It's called Overheat. It's a slight drawback, but it's powerful and well worth it. I don't remember what the base power of Overheat is. I, I want to say it's 150, but I don't think it's that much. I didn't lose this time, but I'm going to win next time. When I rebuild Basinoir Gym, we're gonna, we have to hold a rematch. Yeah, is it? How powerful? I think it's 120, actually, isn't it? Because it's a really powerful move. Where is it? What TM number was it? There it is, 50. 140! Holy shit! Attacks foe at full power using fiery energy. Also sharply reduces the user's special attack. So, I'm probably going to teach that to Flare, because that is just a really good move. I don't have Flare in my party, because I swapped him out for Geodude. Okay. Alright, well, that was uh, fun. Kind of a letdown, to be honest, because he's kind of in basic gym later. A lot of the earlier gym fights were a lot more... Difficult to fight, honestly. All right. I don't care about whoever just found me. All right. <clears throat> so, with that done, uh, we are going to be ending today's episode off. And in the next episode, we are going to be uh, continuing on and exploring the Seafoam Islands. Now that we now have full access to the Seafoam Islands. Well, the gym being in the way. So, I mean, the gym wasn't really in the way in the first place. But I don't care. Next time, we're going to be exploring the Seafoam Gym. Or the Seafoam Islands. And seeing what it has in store for us. So, see you guys then.